Okay, good morning class. So uh, we decided collectively to do the next exercise. Nice. Okay. I decided for us. Yeah, nice. I like that. Okay. So let's go with Equations of a straight line. That's our heading for today. Equation of a straight line. So the standard form of equation of the straight line is y is called mx plus c, where m is the gradient of the straight line, and c is your y-intercept. Now consider the straight line where we are given the coordinates of a specific point, say so a, which is x1 and uh, y1, and um, b, which is x and y. Let us now consider the arbitrary point, which is x and y on the straight line whose coordinates are known. Alright, so we, to calculate the equation of, or to calculate the gradient is what change in y will change in x. Okay, where gradient is of course that. Look, but there's another way of getting the, the, the standard form of a straight line graph. Can you see it? That's another equation for straight line, not necessarily standard form. But it's another equation of a straight line graph. But what do we use? We use y is equal to mx plus c. But uh, just to note, there's another way of, um, of using that. Okay? You'll, uh, you'll never see me use that, okay? Because I just use this y is equal to mx plus c. Alright, so you have your now tell given the condition, the coordinates of the other, right? So we've got that. We know that lines of parallel gradients are okay. equal. We also know that if lines are perpendicular, then product to gradient negative one. And to calculate the angle of inclination is going to be tan of theta. What's the one thing they left out here? Colinear. Yes. If points are colinear, gradients are equal. Okay, so it's also pertaining to gradients there. We will have to get example one. Example one is on page. This is for exercise 4.5, which is on page 90. 99. Huh? And this example one's on page ninety-seven. Right. So the question says determine the equation of a straight line that passes through the point four and three and has a gradient of two. People, what's the standard form of a straight line graph? Y is equal to mx plus c. We've got the gradient of 2, so what is that? Your m value, not so. So y is equal to 2x plus c. So what do we still need to solve here? x. Y. C. 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 x and y forms your, 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 your function. So how do we calculate c? We substitute the point this line that's going through this graph, or the graph is going through. We substitute a n, which is? Yeah. Remembering this is an x and a y. y. So what do we have? 4 is equal to 2 times 3 plus c. So that is 6, not so? That becomes 4 minus 6, which is negative 2. Y is equal to 2x. Is there any confusion here? Any confusion? No? Let's look at example two. Example two, John Page. Ninety-seven. Determine the equation on the straight line that passes through A, which is one and two, and B, which is three and three. So here we have two points now that this graph is going through. What is the standard form of a straight line graph? Y, y equals to mx plus c. Do I have my gradient here? No. no. So I need to calculate. <coughs> so how do you calculate your gradient? Change in y, change in y over? Change in x. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. If I make this x1, that will be y1. And this is x2, y2. 
So what, is, what should it read now? 8 minus 2 over 3 minus 1. What is 8 minus 2? 6 over 2, which is? 3. So the gradient is 3. If you had gone the other way around and you said that was um, x1, y1, x2, y2, you would have now had uh, 2 minus 8 over 1 minus 3, which is negative 6 over negative 2, which is also 3. You see, you're going to get the same answer. You guys understand? Yes. Provided you didn't make a mistake, you'll get the same answer. So if you, as I said, if you, whatever you mark it, as long as you're marking it properly, you get the correct answer. So my equation now reads, y is equal to 3x plus c. So how do I calculate c? You substitute a point that's lying on the curve, or on the line, which is either a or b. Again, it should give you the same answer. Y and 2. Remember, this is a x and a y. Okay. So what is what would it now read? 2 equals 3 times plus plus 3 times 1. So get over becomes negative 1. The equation is y is equal to 3x minus. Okay. <coughs> People you can't get more simple than this, even if we try to make it more easy, isn't it? <coughs> Any confusion there? Any questions? Hmm? Not yet, okay. Let's look at example 3. Example 3 is on page. 98. The question says, determine the equation of the straight line that passes through the point A, which is 2 and negative 3, and have an inclination of 45 degrees. So what's the standard form of a straight line graph? Y equals mx plus c. Not so Do you have the gradient here? No. But hang on, what do we have here? Inclination angle. So the inclination angle is associated with the formula T. Theta is equal to the gradient. But we have the angle now. Can you see that, people? So what do I say? The gradient is equal to tan of 45 degrees. You know what is tan of 45? You see that? If they had told you that the inclination angle is 30 degrees, I just didn't say tan of 30. They say tan of uh, the inclination of 71,32, whatever. And that would just put it tan of 73,12. You say you got the inclination angle of 135. You just put tan of 135, you'll get negative 1. You guys understand? So now I can sub this into this formula. So what's my equation now? Y equals x plus c, or 1x plus c. What do I do now? Now we can substitute. We start for C. We're going to substitute A, which is negative 2 and 3. Or other way around. We're going to substitute A, which is 2 and negative 3. Remember, this is an X and a 1. So this is the substitution. What do we get? Negative 3 is equal to 2. So what do you see? Negative 6. Negative 5. Minus 3 minus 2 is negative 5. So what's my equation now? Y equals x minus. Okay. Any confusion, people? Easy, no? It's easy if you see somebody else do it. Now do it yourself, and it's a different story, no? And don't try it for yourself for the first time in your exam. 
I must remind you, eh? that you guys think. Okay, just sort the stuff out later. We'll figure it out. Example four. Example four is on page. Example four, we are to determine the equation of the straight line L that is parallel to the line Y is equal to uh, no, 4x plus 3y um, plus 3x equals 8 and passes through the point of negative 4 and negative 6. What is the standard form of a straight line? Y equals mx plus c. Not so. Do we have the gradient? No. But we can determine the gradient from this equation here. Not so. If lines are parallel, what do we know? Gradients are equal. So if you look at the equation of 4y plus 3x is equal to 8, can we say the gradient is 3? No. Why not? It's not in standard form. And what's the standard form of a straight line? Y equals mx plus c. So how do we get this in that form, people? Take a free over, yes? And then? We leave a 4y equals negative 3x plus And then? Divide by 4. So y is equal to negative 3 over 4x plus? What do I notice now? What's my gradient now? Can you see it's in that form of y is equal to mx plus e. So the gradient is negative 3 over 4. Okay? Am I moving too fast? No, okay. So let's put uh, that in here. You can say if you like, the gradient 1 is equal to gradient 2, which is equal to negative 3. That's if you want to. You don't have to say that. Okay? So what's my equation in the reading now? Y is equal to negative 3 over 4x plus c. Now we're going to substitute a point that's lying on this curve, which is? Negative 4 and negative 6. Remember it, this is n? 6 and 0. So what is it going to do now? Negative 6 is equal to? Negative 3 over 4 times negative 4 plus? C. That will cancel, leave you with 3. Negative 0 becomes negative 3. So c is negative 9. My equation now reads y is equal to negative 3 over 4x minus. People, this is, a, this is a common ask question in an exam. Okay. Lines are parallel to another and going through a point as, as shown. Okay, that is a question for the. Okay. They didn't ask us perpendicular, no? No, and that is the last example, yeah? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this question, and I'm going to make it my own now, okay? A different question. Sorry? What's wrong? What? Oh, nothing's wrong, okay. Flat. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make this my own now. I'm going to make a, a 16. So it says now my own question. The question says determine the equation of the straight line L that is perpendicular to the straight line y is equal to y, uh, 4y plus 3x equal to 8 and passes through negative um, 4 and negative 6. People, what is the, what's the standard form of a straight line graph? y equals mx plus c. Not so. Do we have the gradient? No. However, we got another straight line. So the lines are perpendicular. What we do is we say, okay, if you got 4y plus 3x is equal to 8. Can I say the gradient is 3? It must be in standard form. What is standard form? Y is equal to mx plus c. Okay? So what do I do first? I take a 3x over. So I got 4y is equal to negative 3x plus divided by 4. 
So y is equal to negative 3 over 4x plus 2. So what's the gradient of this graph? Negative 3 over 4. Do you all agree with that? But if lines are perpendicular, what do we know? The product of the two gradients is negative 1. So what do we say now? Gradient 1 times gradient 2 is equal to negative 1. So what's the first gradient? Negative 3 over 4 times m2 equals negative 1. Not so. Okay. So I divide both sides by negative 3 over 4. So m2 is going to give you an answer. 4 over. Did you see that people? So what do we now say? The equation that is y is equal to 4 over 3x plus c. And how do I calculate c? So we substitute the point this line, that this curve is going or this line is going through. Which is negative 4 and negative 6. Okay. We're going to do that substitution now. We'll take this with you. The equation now reads, it's the x and a 1. So negative 6 is equal to 4 over 3 times negative 4 plus c. It's going to give you negative 16 over 3, not so. So it's negative 6 plus 16 over 3 equals c. c works out to be negative 18 plus it's negative 2 over 3. My equation is y is equal to 4 over 3x minus 2. Minus 16 minus 18. That's good. There was there any problem here? Any confusion? Hmm? So with that you should be able to do exercise 4.5. Okay, so just take a summary here. In summary, we know that summary of concepts in this chapter. The distance formula is the square root of x1, uh, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Well, if you that kind of girl that wants to use a's and b's and that, no problem. Use a's and b's. a, b is equal to the square root of x, b minus x, a, all squared plus y, b minus y, a, all squared. Then we got the midpoint formula, which is x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2, or the formula that they have there. Gradients of a straight line. We will be able to change in y for change in x. If lines are parallel, gradients are equal. And if lines are perpendicular, the product of the two gradients is negative 1. And also, um, the inclination angle is standard theta is equal to uh, your gradient. And then the last concept, which is a tan of theta is equal to your gradient. To work out your angle of inclination. Okay. Any, any questions, people? So with that, you should be able to do exercise 4.5. You do for me every alternate sum. Okay? And then Monday, we can discuss what issues you had with, uh, with that. Uh, with that. Okay. The full lesson can be found in the description box below.